The Westdale Residential Planning District was developed from tracts originally subdivided in 1947 by Paul W. Truesdale. It contains roughly 800 parcels, developed with one-story, single-family residences. Nestled inside this district, along Barrington Avenue between Navy and the 14 lots north of Federal, are two-story residential apartments designed by Truesdale to complement the size and the scale of the surrounding neighborhood. They are 10-unit two-story buildings observing the setbacks and the character of the single-family structures. They complement each other, making Mar Vista a wonderful community. Other features of Westdale include an insular street pattern, consistent lot sizes, uniform setbacks, concrete sidewalks, and landscaped parkways with mature trees themed for each street. Mar Vista Elementary School and Mar Vista Recreation Center are two of the amenities, as well as shopping within walking distance. This is an excellent example of a planned residential development found nowhere else in Los Angeles. And for that reason, many commercials, features, and television series use this area for locations. It's no wonder that the Westdale area is highly desirable for families with children. For that reason, the current homeowners are actively courted with multiple offers from realtors and from investors. Because of rapid development in Playa Vista, the Westdale area is enveloped in commuter gridlock twice daily. Cut-through traffic exceeds speed limits on neighborhood streets as frustrated commuters look for other routes. The morning commute also involves incoming traffic for classes at Mar Vista Elementary. The intersection of Barrington and Indianapolis is busy with parents and children using the prime eastern access to the school. Currently, the property at 3277 South Barrington is being proposed for a small lot subdivision. This would change a single-family dwelling into a four-unit, 41-foot-high project, dwarfing the surrounding neighborhood. The location of the project is along the prime artery for car and foot traffic approaching and leaving the school. The impact would be severe, further restricting the already limited route to and from school. In addition, Barrington is severely congested during the morning rush hour, making an already tenuous situation quite dangerous for pedestrian traffic crossing the intersection and the blind alley access to the proposed project on the way to school. To further complicate matters, no allowance has been made for the impact of additional parking on Indianapolis, especially during school days when teachers, staff, and school visitors are there. The proposed project can be illustrated here with shadow impact on surrounding homes shown. This shows the proximity to the school. Trash pickup on Wednesdays would make the already busier blind alley impassable. Should this project be approved, other development of the remaining single-family lots would be attempted. The school would be less accessible. The scale and the character of the neighborhood would be lost. The carefully designed community would be bisected with the same impact of a freeway going through it. Look at the Barrington Corridor north of Olympic for a preview of what's to come if this project and others like it are allowed. In year four of a brutal drought, do we really want to approve more dense construction? We don't have the power infrastructure to support more development. This project does not lie within 1,000 feet of a transportation corridor. Barrington is a two-lane street between Federal and Navy. Any development beyond the size and scale of the existing single-family dwellings on the 14 lots along South Barrington does not fit the original design and the intent of Westdale, as envisioned by Paul Truesdale. His vision was right in 1947, and it's right in 2016. That is why home values in this cherished, highly sought-after neighborhood remain high. 
The proposed subdivision, allowing more dense, disproportionate development, threatens the value of what we, the homeowners, have built and maintained. We urge you, our elected representatives, to oppose this project. The proposed development does not satisfy a housing need. It feeds a developer's greed at taxpayer and resident expense. Thank you.